What is going on anyone? I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and today I'm here to give you guys an unboxing or in this case an unpackaging of an item in which I recently purchased off of eBay. Now do keep in mind obviously based off the title of this video and what I'm about to say that this is related to the My Little Pony collectible card game. Just to kind of rephrase, I'm a brony, I enjoy watching the show, I enjoy the fantastic remixes that the community comes up with, especially in the music department. And of course, I like to play card games. Just to give you an example of a card game, here is a um, Naruto card mat, which I won in a tournament. And of course, this is a mat, which I'm going to do a comparison between the mat that comes in, you know, the mat that's in here. As a comparison, because I'm going to do a quick review. And of course, here's a stack of Naruto cards as an example. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this. Now, I'm pretty sure for those of you who are on eBay, uh, in this case, for those of you who are currently playing the MLP CCG, we're probably on eBay or just looking around for a, a card mat, you know, some something to put your cards on for extra protection besides the card sleeves. There's different ones. Interplay has one where it has the... Uh, Pretty much the elements of harmony the one that's featured on the back of the cards and it was like a purplish color play mat like the color scheme that's going on here uh, there's another one with pinkie pie in the scene with discord when they're in the maze and i've also seen one where it has a variety of different characters and there's a custom one on ebay where you have different characters and it had the field layout this is the one uh, with the fields layout uh, as you've seen in the thumbnail image so anyways let's go ahead and open this up All right. Okay, so before I, oops, I keep hitting the microphone. So before I unravel this, I just want to quickly compare the rubber padding on the bottom. And yeah, the rubber padding is really good. So that's a good first impression. Now let's go ahead and unravel this. I'm really excited. I see just a little bit of it. Um, but here goes nothing. Let's hope for the best. And three, two, one go oh hell yeah check that out that looks damn good and because when i saw it on ebay i was like that image looks too good to be true and it looks exactly like the image and this is not just a photo print it looks exactly like the image they put on ebay holy crap Man, this is pretty cool. So the character we have here, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the show, this is a background character, which is also a uh, pretty much a popular one amongst the fans. This one is known as DJ Pwn3. Um, so, of course, also people call her Vinyl Scratch. So this is pretty damn cool. I mean, look at it. You got everything here, which I'm going to do a quick review on this in just a moment. But I'm just trying to get a filling here. I'm going to you know fill it with my other mats. So this is an official playmat uh, by, was it Namco? No, Bandai <laughs> Namco. Um, so it's actually a, a little bit softer than uh, this one, but it's very similar. In terms of fill, it's very, very similar, which is great. So, of course, the quality-wise already is great. Uh, they did state that this was laid out perfectly to fit and work with the MLP CCG cards, which... I have a set of cards right here because I bought like seven booster packs and I figured afterwards I'll show you guys my hollows. All right, so as you can see, we have the home limit down here. Um, if it, it perfectly fits, over here is the problem. Uh, I'm just gonna put a character there just for the heck of it. For, it fits perfectly and you have a nice box to put your, you know, your cards for when you're trying to, uh, you know, work on a problem. Uh, over here, um, I find this kind of awkward. I figure the draw deck will be over here, but it's actually a discard and draw deck. So yeah, I kind of switched around. So uh, interesting. I mean, shouldn't be too bad. I mean, you have draw deck there, and then you got the discards here. It almost seems like you may get it a little bit confused when you're over here trying to solve your opponent's problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, the cards fit perfectly, even if the cards or in a card sleeve, they still fit perfectly. I mean, I think that the way to design it is that these, the square pieces, are to cut out when the cards are in a card sleeve because with these in the card sleeve, it fits perfectly. I mean, it's the same exact size. 
So yeah, pretty cool. So um, let me go ahead and just do a quick review before I show you guys the hollows in which I pulled. Uh, so the quality wise in terms of the material in both the front and the rubber padding in the back are top notch quality. It feels like an official playmat, like if something if you order from an official website. Um, so I, I give the quality a 10 out of 10. The image, the image is exactly how it looks and which they put on eBay. They put a picture up. I was kind of questioning about it, like what real, pretty much like will it really look as good as it does just off the image? And it does, which I'll have an image up here. I mean, it looks exactly like it. And so image quality, top notch, 100%. Uh, what I like about it is that pretty much they took like the paper version, which let me go ahead and grab that. Here's the paper one that you get in a starter pack. As you can see, you have your discard draw deck. That's why I was kind of questioning that, but you know, it's not really that big of a deal. You have your home limit, you have your opponent's problem, discard, and you know, the whole score sheet, like just basically an extra piece that you don't really need, to be honest. Um, so they took, you know, basically the design outlook of the paper playmat and they made it into a, a little bit more of a smaller compact and organized um, playing field and which I think works out great. I mean, you have a nice space for your home limit. You have a nice spot for your problems, especially if your opponent is using a card mat just like this and then it's going to match out quite well. Um, so I'm really pleased about that. Another thing I like is over here, because sometimes people tend to forget. I mean, I participated in uh, at least seven tournaments so far, and people tend to forget this. But I like over here on the top corner, it reminds you of the token cost, such as you pay one additional to token to uh, draw an additional card. You pay one token to play Troublemaker, pay two to move one of your characters, and pay two to ready one of your fighting friends. I like how they have that reminder there. That is uh, really smart of them. And I also like right here in the center. Not sure how well you can see that. Um, in the center, they have on the left side, action tokens per turn and the score. So you could easily put like a little icon there, which actually to think of it, um, if you recall these little punch out token sheets from the starter pack, take the smallest one out flip it over to where it has the, the elements in the back, and you could use that as your little token spotter. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with the card game, it's basically, my camera is acting up, you know, whoever is the highest scoring player, that is the amount of tokens that you get, and you could easily keep track with this little, you know, punch out token if you want. Or you could do something else, you could use a coin, uh, you could use a, a Monopoly piece, whatever it is that you want. Um, but the fact that they have a little tracker you could easily keep track um, is really nice. So I think it's really cool. Um, so altogether, if I were to rate this playmat on a scale of 1 to 10, and if I would recommend the seller, i give the playmat a full 10 out of 10. And I'll be more than happy to order another one off the user. Um, just, yeah, a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend the person. Uh, if you guys would like to order a custom MLP playmats, just you know, for your cards or just something to collect, I'm going to put a link in the description down below. If some of the search results don't come up, uh, usually after an item is bought, usually like two or three later, the uh, later, <laughs> usually two or three days later, uh, the item will reappear on their list. Uh, do you keep that in mind? They also have Magic the Gathering, so if you're not into MLP, you prefer Magic the Gathering. They do have card mats for that. Uh, I've seen some different ones. Uh, like they have the ones like this they also had ones where they have a character right here on the corner and to be honest just based off my my personal taste i didn't really like having the character image on the side i think it looks fine like this you how you have the, like the one image and of course the fade out image look going on here and then having this playing with just the home lane, i think that looks perfect they have a few other characters like that like nightmare moon um, Princess Luna has the one with the character on the side. They don't have a derpy mat, which uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe I could get in contact. Maybe they can make a derpy style mat. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm happy with this purchase. They sell for $25 each. Their shipping is very fast and the shipping is also free. So pretty cool. But anyways, uh, before I end this video, let me go ahead and show you guys the hollows in which I pulled from a uh, booster pack. I pulled out, uh, not pulled out, I, um, purchased a total of seven. I managed to pull out one ultra rare and uh, two hollows. So let me go ahead and just kind of fix the focus here. 
So the first hollow I got is Twilight Sparkle Elements of Magic. It's kind of hard to see because I had it in a sleeve. Her effect is you pay one less token to play an event. When you play an event, look at the top card of your deck. You may put this card in the bottom. Um, she requires six, to uh, yeah, six tokens, six magic already on the field in play, and she already has a strength of five. So these are really costly. They have a card, either foil or non-foil, for each of the characters. I actually have one with Fluttershy, which I have. Let me grab that. My cards are falling apart. I mean, here's Fluttershy. I mean, she has a good effect. I mean, if you're running uh, yellow, uh, her effect is awesome and one I would recommend. Her effect is, when this card enters play, you may search your deck for two... Uh, what was the term? Uh, critters. There you go. Two critter friends to put into your hand. Face off. Discard a critter friend to give a friend plus two power into the end of the face off. So, yeah, really good effect. Twilight elements, not so much. I also have a hollow rainbow dash known as Goosebumps Giver. Basically, her reaction is after an opponent's friend is frightened, you may exhaust this card to frighten another friend. So she comes in a hollow and non-hollow. And the ultra rare, which surprisingly I pulled my first hollow and the Canterlot Knight set, is Twilight Sparkle Noted Speaker. She has a strength of zero, but she has an interesting effect. She requires three tokens and three magic. Now her effect, this is what I find interesting, which can make or break, which I'm gonna try her in a tournament, is you play with the top card of your deck revealed. So let's say, here's my deck over here in the corner. So you play with the top card of your deck revealed, and her strength is going to be the cost. So in this case, this is the top card of my deck currently, which has five, which means now she is going to be five. So when my next turn comes and I draw a card, that means I flip the next card over and wait, now her strength is down to one. And of course, you know, the downside to this is that your opponent is going to know what card you're going to draw. But at the same time, you never know when the top card of your deck may be something strong or something weak. So anyways, there you guys have it. I just wanted to show you guys the custom play mats and, you know, to do a quick review on it. Um, but yeah, I do highly recommend the eBay buyer. Um, Great quality, great mats. I'm looking forward to getting another custom play mat. Uh, order one for my little brother so that way he has one to use because uh, it's going to be kind of awkward with him using a, a Naruto play mat and then we're playing MLP. Uh, but once again, if you guys have any questions, leave that in the comment section down below. Once again, I'm Sir James from Gamer Fusion. And of course, don't forget to stay tuned for E3 2014 with all your E3 coverage. But once again, I'm Sir James and you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend.